To animate text in Premiere Pro, all you need to do is first of all, get yourself a new solid just for the background. We can set it to any color that you want and apply it onto the timeline. From here, we can get ourselves the text tool, left click on the screen and type in your text. Now, of course, you can also change the scale. You can change the font to any other font, which is a lot nicer. Let's say, for example, this one right here. You can also do other things such as add in some effects, make it stand out. We can apply a stroke alongside a shadow. And for this one, we're going to max it out to 100. We're also going to make it nice and bold, just so it's easier to see. Slightly increase this one and change the angle to, let's say, 180. Now, once you're happy with your text and your effects, you can also go to the first tool and by holding control, you can move the anchor point to the center of the text box. This will allow you to then snap this text box while holding control into the center of the screen. Now, in order to create the zoom effect with the motion blur, we need to go to the effects and you want to search for a transform effect, which is this one right here. Apply it onto your video. And to create that nice smooth motion blur, we need to set the shutter angle to 360 and untick this option right here. Now, what this will do is if we skip a little bit further out, we can set ourselves a scale of 100%. If you click on the stopwatch, this will give you a keyframe and we can go back to the start of the video and set this one to zero. This will give you this effect right here. Now, in order to stop it from being 100% at the start, we also need to change the scale for this one to zero on the main vector motion. Once again, get yourself a keyframe. We can skip a keyframe or skip to the next one by clicking here and setting this one to 100. And as you can see, we now have this smooth zoom in animation. However, it's a little bit slow at the moment and we're just going to fix this by selecting both keyframes dragging this further in and once again a little bit quicker right about here you also want to determine how long you want the text to be on the screen for so let's say for example you want it this long you can then zoom out and we can also zoom it back out by setting this one to zero you need to make sure that you also remove the shutter speed at the end of the animation as well so you want to set the first one to 360 and then the second one to zero. This will stop it from automatically just going to a black screen. Now at the moment, everything is looking great, but the only problem is it's a little bit slow and there's nothing exciting that is happening right now. So we're just going to highlight the first two keyframes. And to make this even smoother, you can set it to ease in. This will smoothen the keyframes, making it a lot smoother when the animation starts. We can also do the same for the second keyframes and set this one to ease out. We can also set it to this one as well. And if we have a look at this now, we have a nice zoom in animation. We're also going to trim this down to only about two seconds. And if you wanted to, you can also control the exact curve of the animation. If you open up the scale, this will allow you to change the actual curve itself. So let's say you wanted this to be nice and snappy. You can drag this further back and this will ramp it up, giving you a even smoother animation. As you can see, it appears on the screen nice and quick. You also need to do this manually to the other ones as well. And if we have a look at this now, we have a nice smooth animation. We can also do the same for the end ones as well. 
if you wanted to apply it onto here, we can slightly change the ramp and there we go. And then finally, if you wanted to save this as a template, you can also right click on here, go to export as motion graphic template. You can give this any name that you want. So let's just call it zoom in. You can set the location right in here. Make sure that you have a preview. You can add in any keywords if you want to, just to make the search easier when it comes to searching it up and then press OK. And now if you want to apply the same text with the animation, you want to go to window and make sure that you have the essential graphics open. If you open this up and go to your templates, you will have your new animation right here. If you drag and drop this onto your timeline, this will automatically apply the same effects. And as you can see, we now have the animation right here. And the great thing about this is that this will also remove the background. So if you get yourself another background or a video underneath it, it will apply on top of that video.